Hello everyone. In this address, we are going to find the member forces in JI, JE and in DE. We are going to use the method of sections. Now let us find the reactions. First let us find HG. We can apply this rule and find HG. Since there is no horizontal load, HG will be zero. This truss is symmetrical. The loading is also symmetrical. So we can easily find VA and VG. To find VA and VG, we have to add these loads. When we add, we will get 1 to 0 and then divide that by 2. For VA and VG, we will get 60 kN. To find the member forces in JI, JE and in DE, we have to make a section like this. Because this section cuts all the three members, we can either take the left side or the right side. I am going to take the right side because it will be easy for us. To find FDE, we have to take movement about J because it will be easy. When we take movement about J, we should not consider FIJ, FEJ. The remaining forces are FDE. 20, 20, 10 and 60. Let us keep clockwise as positive and anticlockwise as negative. 60 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 12. These three loads are acting in the clockwise direction so all of them will be positive. For 10 the distance is 12. For 20 the distance is 8. For this 20, the distance is 4. FTE is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. For FDE, we will get a positive value that means it is tensile. We need to find this angle. Let us keep this angle as theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us use the tan theta formula that will be 8 upon 4. In this way for theta we will get 63.43. To find FEJ easily we have to take moment about G. When we take moment about G we should not consider 60, 10, FDE and FIJ. The remaining forces are 20, 20 and FEJ. Both of these two loads are acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So both of them will be negative. For this load the distance is 4. For this load the distance is 8. We have to resolve FEJ. We can keep it in the vertical direction. To keep it in the vertical direction we need this angle. This angle is 90 minus 63.43. We will get 26.57. About the point G, FEJ is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. The distance is 8 and we have to multiply with the cos 26.57. For FEJ, we will get a positive value that means it is tensile. We need to find this angle. Let us keep the angle as theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us use tan formula. Tan theta will be equal to 8 upon 12. In this way for theta, we will get 33.69. To find Fij easily, we have to take moment about E. When we take moment about E, we should not consider Fte, Fej and this load 20. The remaining forces are Fij. 20, 10 and 60. The reaction 60 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 8. These two loads are acting in the clockwise direction so both of them are positive. For this load the distance is 8 and for this load the distance is 4. Fij is inclined like this. We have to resolve Fij. We can resolve it in the vertical direction. 
to keep it in the vertical direction we need this angle this angle is 90 minus 33.69 we will get 56.31 now about the point e fij is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 8 and we have to multiply with the cos 56.31 for fij we will get a negative value that means it is compressive 